top of the morning to you. <laughs> I fucking quit. I can't do this. Oh my god. Well, now that you've had to survive my unbearably cringy intro, you might as well stick around for the amazing story that I'm about to tell you. That's right, today's story is a special one because it's really fucked up. Although all my stories are kind of fucked up, but this one is really, really fucked up. You're gonna have to trust me on that one. I can't even talk right now without laughing because of how fucked up it is, so please just believe in me. This story happened when I was delivering pizza. That's right, I was a delivery boy. A couple of years ago, I worked for a place, I'm not gonna mention it because it's a pretty small company and you guys could easily find their phone number and troll the shit out of them. I don't want that. Or do I? Nah. I don't want that. Uh, but I worked for a pizza place and uh, I was just going through a pretty weird and confusing time in my life. Puberty. Yeah, I, I had a job and, you know, when you deliver pizza, you come across some pretty, you know, fucked up people in pretty messed up situations. Uh, most of the time you just get people who pretty much just come out with, like, virtually no clothes on. It's just really awkward. Uh, there was this one guy that I went to. He lived in the fucking forest in the middle of Neverland. And I walk up to his house and it fucking just smells like shit. It just smells like ass. Like, literally his whole apartment area or his whole complex that he lived in just smelled like fucking asshole. And it was just absolutely unbearable. Terrible. I walk up to the room and the guy comes out wearing a fucking brown shirt that I could tell was originally white, but it was like stained brown and he smelled. It was the most unbearable smell ever. It was terrible. I couldn't even look at the guy because I felt so bad. And this guy was like fucking 450 pounds or some shit ordering like six pizzas and six boxes of chicken wings. Anyway, that's like, that's like a normal situation, right? If you deliver pizza before, you guys have probably had some fucked up situations. That was normal. That's just a normal day right there. You go through that all the time. Oh no, what I'm about to tell you is really fucked up. Uh, this was a, you know, normal day. Started out fine. I worked in the evenings. That's just the time that I, uh, I go in. And, uh, standard day deliveries, like 10 to 15 deliveries, something like that. You know, pretty shitty tips throughout the day. But, uh, it's, it's getting pretty late out. And I go, uh, really far out into the countryside. Really far out into the edge of town. And I go to a house. Everything is going just fine. I drive out there. It's all good. Listening to music, you know, chilling. And I get there and I, uh, ring the doorbell. And I just hear, like, a bunch of voices and, like, a bunch of people. And it's, it sounds like a party to me. So I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Party folks love to give big tips. So I ring the doorbell and this 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 guy comes out and he's elderly. He's older. He's, like, 60-ish years old. This guy is, like, you know, he's fine. Nothing strange about this guy. But I see some other people in the background and these people are wearing, like, just underwear. They're wearing, like, no clothes. It's none of my business, right? I'm just, just there to deliver the pizza. But this guy insists that I come on in, which is a big mistake. And uh, that's the first mistake that I made. He's like, hey, man, come on in. You know, just it's every, we're all cool. We're all good here. Come on in. And I'm like, nah, man, I really shouldn't. I got work to do and stuff. He's like, oh, come on. Come on in or I'm not giving you a tip. He actually said that. Fucking asshole. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, just for a second. But I got to head out soon. He's like, don't worry, don't worry. Just come in for a second. And keep in mind, these people ordered like eight boxes of chicken wings and no pizza, which is fucking stupid because we don't even specialize in wings. Our wings are fucking shit. They were terrible. They smelled like vagina. I wouldn't know. I've, I've never smelled a vagina. But they smelled terrible. They're actually absolutely awful. And that's all they order. So I go in and it's just, it's the most awkward, fucking embarrassing, just ridiculous sight ever. It's these elderly people and they're all just virtually naked. Not quite naked, but they're wearing very weird clothes. Some of them look like they were in some kind of role-playing outfits. I can't really describe it to you, but it was not a normal environment. They were all dressed up really fucking weird. And so I go in and uh, this guy just comes up to me and he's like, hey man, why don't you sit down with us? They have a couch and there's like two people on the couch. She's like, why don't you come sit down and talk? I'm like, uh, no, I, I gotta go. And at this point, I'm like, fuck the tip, man. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I just want to leave. I just want to get out of here. So I'm like, nah, I should really go. He's like, oh, come on, come on, come on. I'll tip $100. He actually said that. I'm like, okay, I guess I can sit down for a second. But I gotta go soon. Like, I have work to do. I'm on the clock. He's like, ah, oh, don't worry. It'll only be a second, right? It'll only be a minute. So I, I sit down and... 
people start opening up the fucking food and they start eating and it's just like these fucking naked people not naked they're almost naked and in weird outfits and again i want to emphasize they're all elderly they're all people that are like over 50 to 60 years old and there's something going on here because there's like drinks and cocktails and shit everywhere and you know booze and all sorts of stuff who knows drugs i I wouldn't know but there's some weird shit going on right so at this point the guy then you know comes up to me and he's like here have a drink i'm like uh yeah I, i don't think so he's like come on just one drink just have the drink man i'm like no i'm gonna pass He's like, come on, man, have the drink or I'm not going to tip you. He actually fucking said that again. Fucking asshole. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I really got to go. He's like, come on, man, just have the drink. Just have the drink and then I'll give you a hundred dollars. And it's just a regular drink. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm not going to drink. I'm on the job, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to take the drink. So this guy's like pretty pissed, right? He's pretty fucking mad. And he's like, you can just head on out. And so I leave and he gives me, he gives me 10 bucks. And I had to bear with looking through looking at like a million old people that are like naked and there's weird shit going on there so yeah i don't know what was in that drink to this day i still have no clue what the fuck was in that drink it could have been anything man honestly i have no idea what would have happened my life might have been very different if i had that drink uh so that's probably the weirdest delivery that i've ever had in my entire life maybe i should have had the drink hmm okay anyway that's that story guys hopefully you enjoyed Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, If you did, feel free to share it with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and check out all my other stories. All that YouTube shit that I am under contract that I have to say. If I don't, I'll get a 10-year prison sentence. So thanks again, guys. I love you all, except for some of you. And uh, if this video can get 420 thumbs up, then I'll go ahead and send you all a free pizza. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace. Peace.